What's going on guys? It's me again. <laughs> Having a, a cheeky monster while I show you the latest gaming pickups. This one's really nice. Uh, monster Punch. It's like uh, cherry flavour. It's really nice. Uh, apologies, I've obviously tried to make it as light as possible with uh, the worst lighting in the world. Uh, I've just got my couple of cheeky little spotlights. Um, looking like Casper. That's the only way. That's the only way. I can make myself... Uh, brighter um but yeah like i say at this time it's nearly nine o'clock at night and obviously the dark nights are drawing in so it's like very uh dark and shadowy and everything so yeah i, I don't know i'll do my best guys but um yeah anyway straight into the pickups i, I haven't really uh got much to tell you guys to be honest uh just been um out and about um got a couple of swaps and sales pickups i got ages ago i've been meaning to catch up and show you um, and yeah, and just just some car boot bits, bits off the Facebook group. So let's crack on with it. So obviously, I collect retro gamer. We've got the latest issue on about the history of Fallout. So that's obviously the main feature of this month. So I've had a little uh, scan through it. So I was quite late to the Fallout series. Uh, briefly pay played three, and I was an absolute noob. Didn't get what was going on. And then um, yeah, when four came out. I thought they looked incredible and I got it and absolutely love it. Missed out on Fallout New Vegas, but I recently picked it up. It might have been on the last pickups or pretty recently. Um, picked it up, the uh, like complete edition of all DLC on the 360, so I will catch up on that um, and see how that one is. So this next one, I will have a picture somewhere to show you, so I'll flash that up on screen right now. Uh, basically, my mate Carboot Dave, <laughs> he was uh, going past his mate's house or something like that tray of like gaming stuff or you know bits of gaming stuff whatever wires and everything it's just you know uh some things were faulty uh i went through and i scavenged what i could and uh wiped things up with baby wipes whatever i got some all right bits out of that box because obviously it looks like kind of junk kind of thing he, he got it for free basically off his mate um she was just she just like put it outside a house for someone to take and uh dave obviously car boot dave he knows uh I love my gaming stuff, so he was like, I've got some things for you, and he gave me these for free, because he's a proper mate, <laughs> he's a proper mate, do you know what I mean? Um, when they know you collect, and they're not fussed about selling to you, because you're a mate, they just give you them free. So they're the kind of freaking mates you want in your life, I'm telling you. <laughs> so yeah, um, what I got, I got a black PS2 controller, uh, I think... Yeah, it seems like it's had kind of moderate wear, really. Um, still needs a bit more of a clean-up, but I've just roughly gone over them with baby wipes, um, just for now. Uh, I will polish them up a bit better soon. Got a PS1 controller, one with the analog sticks as well, which is always good. Because I, I just can't game with them ones without the analog sticks. They're too thin. You just can't hold on to them. This is really cool. Uh, a silver PS2 stand, because I've already got a, I've got a big, fat silver PS2. So that'd be nice, if, you know, if I ever want to stand it up. But I'd rather probably lay them down flat because the the problem is that, like, as I found as a kid, because it happened with my friend's PS2. You know what I mean? They have a little wobble. Uh, I mean, that this will pretty much prevent it, unless you freaking do a I don't know five star frog splash or RKO someone into it, then it'll go over. But <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, this will prevent it from going down. But yeah, as I discovered as a kid, my friend's PS2 um, stood it up without a stand, toppled over, wrecked like a, a brand new disc. Uh, that was my FIFA Street disc. And uh, my mum took it back to game and had a go at her and said it didn't work and managed to get a new disc for me. Thank you. Aunt Mum's just superheroes. Yeah, that was years ago, that. The first FIFA Street game. That was amazing and still is amazing. The FIFA Street game is genuinely amazing. Uh, what else did I manage to salvage? A Wii remote um, cover. This is an official one as well. You can see it says Wii on it, Nintendo logo. So that that's scrubbed up quite nice. That's absolutely fine. So it's always nice to have. Uh, also, a 60 gig hard drive. CX only give about freaking 80p or something for one of them. So um, yeah, I've got the, the black Xbox, the black um, 250 gig one. I got one of the later models because obviously... The um, sorted out the red rings of death. <laughs> God, that's old school, that, isn't it, guys? Talking about that. Uh, yeah, they sorted out, obviously, the red rings of death is issue. So that's when I finally um, switched over from PS3 to the Xbox 360 because I got bored of PS3 back in the day. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I haven't really got an Xbox to use on at the moment, but it's worth hanging on to. And there's no point trading it for CX for peanuts, is there, really? 
no point for like 80p um what else did i manage to get i put them in um i've got some other bits i put them in this uh i showed you this the other week didn't i guys um i got that for i think it was like just a quid i got that and uh a wee gun i think for two quid so um that's a nice little wee carry case i just literally stuck them in there because i, I couldn't really find a better bag to have them in to be honest um yeah, don't know what to do with these really. This one's a third party. I don't think CES can take them in as far as I know. Um, I might just have to double check online, but it's no good to me really. No back either. So as far as I know, I don't think CX take them without backs either. Um, I've got a few of these. Right, let me have a look a minute. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so these are the... Like the basically the buzz controls for Xbox 360, and they're used with the Scenic games, like the quiz games and whatever. You know, like you had the buzz controls on the PS2. Buzz was amazing on the PS2, by the way. Not so much the quiz games, but the the party games, the Jungle Party, Monster Party, all that lot. They were brilliant games. So, got got a set of these. Um, I think CX only give a quid or two quid. So, I don't know. I feel like I'd just rather hang on to them for the moment. Oh god, I don't even know where I'm putting these. I should put them back in here already, but I've got everything else in here. Um, and then also I've got almost a full set of another. Um, so I've got obviously the red one, the yellow one, no green one, and the blue one does not have a back, unfortunately. So I have like one and about three quarter sets of um, these uh, Xbox 360 kind of buzz controllers. And then these are all just the... Um, just the you know receiver adapter whatever to plug it all in um so yeah i haven't tested them yet to be honest um i hope all of these aren't faulty um because i haven't tested all of these but yeah that's literally what i salvaged from nothing like and i appreciate that like i know these aren't of great value and whatever but a couple of controllers obviously a, a wii remote grip um ps2 silver stand to match my silver ps2 like I said, I probably won't stand it up, but even just to have it next to it, I know, you know, because it's the same colour and nice little accessory and whatever. So, yeah, I'm just trying to cram what I can into here. That'll do. Right. But, yeah, all that for nothing. You, you literally, you know, cannot complain. Can't go wrong at all, guys. Not at all. Uh, like you say, I'm always grateful for everything. Totally. And something's staring me right in the face, and I forgot to show you. <laughs> also in the box, I forgot. PS2 memory card, always handy. To be fair, I've got quite a few of these, um, but mainly I need PS1 memory cards. I need to uh, start looking out for them on my travels, but can't be ungrateful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously with the, with the collection growing, especially the PS1, I need some more memory cards. Um, so this got a black Wii. I haven't tested it yet. It was in the box. It'd be a bonus if it works. It would be really nice. Um, no wires or anything. Um, I do have that red Wii Mini. I don't know if um, it has the exact same connections. I think it probably does, you know. I think. I don't know. But I'll have to have a look. If not, obviously I'll get hold of some wires at some point. Uh, so I gave this just a little quick wipe down. So, you know, if it don't work, then... Oh, well, I'll get it for free anyway. Um, if it does work, happy days. Um... That is loose on it, by the way. This uh, That's where the controller ports go, like the GameCube controller. Um, but yeah, we'll see if it works or not. I'll let you guys know once I've uh, tested it out. Yeah, I forgot to show you guys the main event from that box. <laughs> uh, right, what do I show you next? That's the question. That's the question. <laughs> Should we see a console, guys? Do you want to see a console? I'll give you a console. <laughs> this was off swaps and sales, and I believe it was... I'm sure it was £25. It was that long ago. I, I forget to show you guys stuff like back in the, you know, quite a while ago. I mean, months ago, like, you know, when things were just too hectic and I was like proper missing videos and um, putting some things away and forgetting to bloody show you guys. So, yeah, got a few uh, consoles, these mini PS1 console, a little one, the little cute one. If I'm correct, I'm sure it has all the inserts in. It's got some nice advertisements for some uh, old games as well. Um, yeah. Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. 
few of the FIFA's Formula One. It's hard to think these were once 30, 40 quid and stuff. It really is. Uh, Spider-Man, I need to pick up those games. Vib Ribbon already got that. Chicken Run, that's a blast from the past. Uh, Driver 2, Crash Bash, Tony Hawk. Final Fantasy, still yet to play a Final Fantasy game. Um, I kind of can't remember what... Um, oh, actually, I thought this was complete. It doesn't have the inserts, actually. I thought it did have. Um, right, so we have the manual, the manuel. That's always nice to have. The little, um, little catalogues of, um, obviously, the games and what have you. I was one of them things to like set, send away and all that lot. Is that for, is it for warranty or is it just, oh, register now for your free welcome pack. <laughs> yeah, so it's one of them. We'd like to offer you a free PlayStation 1 welcome pack. This pack contains a demo disc to give you a taste of some of the best PS1 games available. So you would have got that PS1 demo. So if the old owners could have been asked to do this, we could have had an extra PS1 demo in there. Shame on you previous owners. <laughs> but yeah, it's all um, like fairly nice, Nick, anyway. The little one, the little cute console. I don't know which one I prefer, really. I, d I think I like the classic one, because that's the one, obviously, I grew up with. I didn't have a posh little uh, mini console. Obviously, the controller, all really nice. Got all the connections. What is that? Oh, is that for a... Uh, oh, it's for um, for your what do you call it? It's, it's really cool that it still has that as well. It's for sealing that... Um, if you send that away, it's for sealing the edges of it. That's pretty cool. It, it's crazy how like, things like that can just bring a smile to your face. It's absolute trash to other people. But to a collector, you're just like, oh, it still has some original paperwork in there. Yeah, so... um. There we go. All the boring bits, anyway. You know the you know the drill. All the wires. Um, and yeah, no inserts, unfortunately. But what we can do, we can just we can just pretend. We can just pretend it has all the inserts, and you know what I mean. To put it on display. But now, to be fair, I can see myself being in this market for probably the rest of my life. I think so. Um, I reckon by the by my retirement age, hopefully, I've uh, come across. Uh, <laughs> You know, another box console that could be an upgrade from this or, you know, whatever. Um, a way to get the inserts. It's not very often whatsoever you, you see people selling inserts whatsoever. The only way to get inserts is just to buy the box console. That's in my experience, anyway. If I could get... It's nice and close so you guys can just... I know it's got a massive crease down the side, but... Ah, uh, well... It's hard to get a minty, really, in it. But there's some of the uh, the highlighted games on it. So yeah, it's just really, really nice little box console to have. Like I say, it's not exactly minty and whatever, but that's all right. It's not too battered. Wear and tear and what have you. But I do love a freaking box console, guys. <laughs> I just aim to have like at least one loose um, console of each, so I can just have them out to play and whatever, and then. You know, go for them boxed ones. Go for them boxed. It's freaking boiling tonight. Really weird, because it's been uh, really cold. But it's boiling tonight. Got this off the car boot. Right, these are the mix here. Mostly from the car boot. But I'll show you anyway. I'll, I'll like, tell you and whatever. This was a pound on the car boot. ZX Spectrum 3 Sinclair. It is. It came in this little bag as well. I don't, I don't know if it's like a, a user guide or something. Yeah, it is. I think it might be how to use it and whatever. Operate in your spectrum. Open the box, unpack it, blah, blah, blah. What else did it say to do? How to load disk software, tape software, stuff like that, really. So all that, it's an absolute different language to me. Is it any good to me now? Not really, but I picked it up for when I do pick a spectrum up. Because I would really like one. So for a quid, can't really go wrong. So that's kind of what it looks like. Look at all that. It is like a different language if you don't really have much experience and whatever. Uh, like me, I'm a Spectrum noob. But I would like it. I would like a Spectrum console or consoles uh, at some point. Because I believe there's different versions of them or something. I'll tell you what I would like. 
I'm sure it was a Spectrum, the one where there's a James Bond version of it with... You know what? I can't even remember who it was on it. It's not Timothy Dalton, is it? It can't be. George Razenby, Tim... Might be Timothy Dalton. It can't be. When I see it, I'll show you. I can't, I can't remember. I'd need to get a picture online. <laughs> Got it in my head, but I can't really describe it. But I want it, though. And I'm sure... Oh, no, you know what it is? I don't think it's a Spectrum. It might be a Commodore 64. I don't know, but I'm just going to flash it up on the screen right, right now. Whatever console it is, I want it. <laughs> I actually saw one at um, Doncaster Video Game Market. I saw one. I think it was a little bit battered, though. Didn't inquire about the price, because I think by the time I saw it, I was already running a bit low on money. But that is a box console I would love to have. I can't remember. So I have a Spectrum or Commodore. I'll get a picture for you guys anyway. Um, this was, this next one, Charity Shop Find. And I used to have it as a kid as well. Actually, I don't think I showed you this in the last one. I don't think so. But anyway, I'll show you it again, if I did. 50p, anyway. The Simpsons Sing the Blues. I used to have it years ago. It has, like, Do the Batman on. That's that's the, um... That's my favourite one. I can't really, um... I can't really remember all the other ones. Oh, Deep Deep Trouble. That was a good one. But, yeah. Uh, if, if you haven't heard it, seriously, YouTube it. Um, and uh, listen to it if you're a Simpsons fan. It, I'd say it's pretty much, it is an essential listen if you're a Simpsons fan. You have to. So, yeah. God, my hair's already, oh, by the end of the video, it's going to be getting awful. It's boiling in here. And I've straightened my hair as well. And it's, like, going all curly at that bit. <laughs> it's annoying. But, yeah. I've got, like, 50p from the charity shop, so it's nice um, to own that again. Because um, I, I have been after it. This guy's brilliant brilliant game it's so good it's really hard to come across as well got this off mr devlin turner on uh well he's he's on a uh, few of the groups uh game gear group retro realm i believe as well uh he's an absolute top guy top man top seller uh i've good banter with him he's decent um yeah so he sold me this uh pretty rare ps2 game right fire heroes so you get to be a firefighter um the uh, the cutscenes, the dialogue, everything. It's mega cheesy, but it's so good, though. Really good. It reminds me of... You're in... Um, how many stories? 30 floors of this tower. And it just sets a light. December the 24th, so Christmas Eve. In St Albert City looms the construction site of the Clayton Tower. 7.32pm, a massive explosion occurs, followed by a fire. This is 505 Game Street, who make this as well. Very, uh, yeah, obscure title. Um, don't know if there are any other firefight games, really. I'll tell you what retro game I would love. I'd love The Fireman on uh, SNES. I would love it. But it's uh, it's hard to actually come across a real one. I, ju I just want the car unboxed. But I think it's still too much to ask for. So probably at some point might end up getting a repro. If I can get one cheap anyway. I don't, I don't want to be spending stupid amount for just a repro. But anyway... Um, this reminds me of, like, Die Hard, really. You know, like, the Nakatomi Plaza. And plus, it's, like, near Christmas, it's Christmas Eve on this. Um, so, everything you, you do, your decisions, it affects the ending of, of the game. It even says on here, it changes depending on your gameplay. I'm about... Pff, I don't even know. I might be about a quarter or, or a third of the way through. Been mean to go back on it for ages. Um, it is a 12 plus, probably because, I don't know. I don't even know, because it's got fire in it, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, mega cheesy game. Um, I got this for about, I think I got this for about 40 or 45. Um, but that is under just under the going rate, really. Uh, nice nice little manual and stuff. These are your, your people you can play as and stuff. I think it's three characters, I think. Yeah, one of three lead characters. You can play as an actual fireman. You can play as a cop or an architect. So... I don't know. I'd rather be the firefighter, really, because he, he's made to tackle fires. But the architect, I believe he worked on the building, I think. So if you're him, maybe um, he might have, like, a an idea of what's safe, what the safest floor to go on is, whatever, how the building's designed. I think so, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to uh, go through all three campaigns, like, whenever I do get the time. So from what I've played, it's really cool. So take a look. Um on YouTube, whatever. Look out for this title, guys. And I would genuinely recommend, grab it if you can, Fire Heroes on the PlayStation 2. Definitely recommend it. Uh, these lot, these are all car boot lot. I'll tell you what. 
Hang on. <laughs> God. Um, don't think I showed you guys this either. Um, you know, I don't think I did. Um, also off Devlin, I got that Wii Mini as well, the, the red Wii Mini console. Along with that, um, I got this other game, uh, just for a few quid. Resident Evil Outbreak. Um, I just wanted it... Uh, Obviously, because it's a Resident Evil game. Uh, never got a chance to get stuck into this. I don't think the Outbreak games were very good. There's none of the original characters or storyline, whatever. That guy there, I don't know his name, but he looks like a proper Leon wannabe, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's just me. That's just me being bitchy, because I'm, I'm an old-school Resi fan. <laughs> you know, Leon and Claire are the best in my eyes, and obviously the Resi one lot, Alpha and Bravo team. But yeah, um, not yet played it, uh, so... Obviously, I just want to get them all the Resi games, pretty much. Uh, so I still need Resi Outbreak File 2 and Resident Evil Dead Aim on the PS2 as well. Right, this next lot, guys, got a nice uh, Game Boy Advance little haul here uh, from Kaboo Jamie. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't go to um, the Kaboo. Uh, well, went last weekend, and I'll show you them bits in just a moment. But apart from that, I missed about a month of Kaboo because I was just busy working every weekend uh, alongside uni. And because I generally just did not have the money <laughs> to go to car boots, it was absolutely gutting. I absolutely hate missing car boots. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're like my only enjoyment I get, literally, in my free time. So, yeah, I will show you these. I got these for £15 off car boot Jamie, which is not bad. It's literally like three quid a game. So, yeah, him, him and car boot Dan, they always, like, sell, sell on the things to me if, you know, they're not bothered about them kind of thing. So, I have Legend of Spyro. A new beginning. We have Spyro Fusion. There we go. I was trying to get it to focus in. Don't know what the best Spyro and Crash games are, whatever on the um, GBA, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to collect more because I'm just a big fan of the classic games. We have Spyro Season of Ice. And then um, I, I just find them. It, it's quite hard, really, to get them all boxed and complete. And, I mean, they're a lot more expensive as well. Uh, especially when you go further back, obviously, with the Game Boy Colour, original Game Boy. So, literally, I've got a, f a few, um, just a few Game Boy Colour games boxed and complete. But the rest, they're all just um, carts, I'm afraid. Because that's all I come across, literally, in the wild. Um, and, like you say, I've, I'm just too busy collecting other stuff to concentrate on completing box for the handhelds, really. Uh, but yeah, to be fair, the carts are good enough for me. Uh, so we've got Sonic Advance 3 there. If it'll focus in. There we go. <laughs> and then last but not least, the mighty Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot Fusion. I've got a couple of Crash games for the uh, GBA now. I do really like them as well. It's nice to have Crash on the go. <laughs> um... Is it nice to have Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on the go on the Switch? Eh, yeah, it's not bad, but really disappointed though. They really messed it up with the Switch. They really did. Um, well, not even with the Switch, with the PS4 and the Xbox One. The, the physics, you know, where you just easily slip off ledges and all that. Why mess up a good game? I mean, by all means, add new physics and whatever, but don't, don't overdo it. Yeah, they just messed it up, in my opinion, anyway. Right, anyway, I'll show you the car booty bits from um, this last weekend. Right, let's have a look. I've got everything on my lap right now, balancing. <laughs> right, so some of these, few things for myself, few things for CX, and a few things for eBay. Um, I will show you a couple of, a few of the things for CX are downstairs. I have, um, right, basically, let me think. First stall on the car boot, first one on the first row. Uh, guy with a load of gaming stuff. Um, nothing like absolutely out of this world, but quite a few bits. And he wanted two quid a game and four quid for these guns. So we have a sealed Wii Venom gun. I already have this, like just a loose one to obviously use. Um, I've had a look online. It seems to sell about fourteen ninety nine on eBay, um, sealed. But I have got it really mainly for display. Um, I think I'd just like it for display, but... I don't know, with the p and P, if it sells for 15 I'm not going to make that much on it. I don't know. But basically, that was four quid. And then I got another gun. I've been after one for ages. Because um, it, it, it's the type of gun that's on the front of the um, Resident Evil Survivor uh, cover on PS1. So I've always wanted one. Because they just look cool anyway, nice and lightweight. 
So this is a Scorpion gun for the PlayStation 1. And I believe, well, this is a Scorpion 2. I didn't actually know there was two versions. And I believe it could be a HMV exclusive. Because it obviously says HMV on one side. So yeah, that was four quid. Really nice, Nick. Really nice condition. Uh, I need a little bit of wear to the button just there. But yeah, apart from that, really nice, Nick, that. Just need a CRT TV to use them on. <laughs> Still don't have one yet. Don't even have the space, though. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy. I'll tell you what, it's taking up a lot of space in my room right now. And it's, like, right on the end of my bed over there. So just chuck it out of the way. The box for the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Mystery Box Edition. Yes, I was insane. I got the most expensive one. Because, um, yeah, I'm a massive COD fan. I know people are like, ah, oh, you know, it's the same thing. A lot of people have gone off it over the years, and that's fair enough, that's fine, go play something else, you know, whatever. Um, but I do still love my Call of Duty. Um, yeah, so I still love them, I still love the Zombies mode, so I've got the Mystery Box Edition. Uh, and I do have a video, um, which I've not long uploaded, of me unboxing it. So if you want to check that out, if you're interested in COD, feel free to check it out, guys. So, along with them guns, anyway, moving on from the whole spacing issue, I've got three games. got Wii Sports... All boxed and complete. Um, that's downstairs in my CEX pile. Also in the CEX pile. Not included in this bundle. I already had them. Uh, two Wii Sports. But. Kind of boxed and complete. But without the inlays. So I'm hoping CEX will take them in. And just print off the inlays. from Because they do it for like all the other games. Right? So I'm sure. I know mine are really picky. So I'm sure Hull would take them in. But my local are, are quite picky. But I'm sure take them in even if i raise the issue and say you know you you print them off for other games so can you just print the inlays off for wii sports so i've got three wii sports trading i believe it's like six quid at the minute not for the cardboard sleeve the actual box versions and i also what is also downstairs in a charity shop um uh, i think it was british art foundation might have been um got it for 99p blu-ray steelbook of uh, kick-ass 2 got it for 99p and uh, CX give eight quid, so yeah, love it. So yeah, I've got some nice uh, CX fodder to trade in. So yeah, like I say, one of these Wii Sports, it was in this bundle. It wanted two pound a game. So I've got two other games. Got Wario where Smooth Moves. I don't know if it's any good or whatever. Not a high value value game. I think CX like for three or four quid anyway. So I got that. I like the uh, the weekly Wario. I like the. Uh, the manual. I had a flick through that and had a look. I just like the cover. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's any good. I would like the other Wario game for the Wii. It's the um, like the Shake Dimension, I think it's called. It looks alright. Also, I've got a sealed game. I don't know if it's a, a reseal though. I'm not that expert on sealed games. So I don't collect them. But I got this because it looked decent. Cabela's Survival Shadows of Katmai, I think it is. And... Uh, I've not heard of it, but it just looked really cool. Because you know how I love my horror games and whatever. It just looked really cool and dramatic, the front cover. <laughs> so I really liked that. Uh, it just looks cool. So I don't know if it is a reseal because I don't see any red stripe or Nintendo or whatever. I'm guessing. Had a little look on eBay and I've seen one sealed. It was, uh, I believe it's an American copy and it looked like this. Um, like the seal. So I don't know if um, I should maybe attempt to sell it on i don't know um but like i say it was just a bit of a, a wild guess pickup because it looked good uh, i didn't realize you can also get it on ps3 and 360 so obviously xbox 360 would be my main preference but um i wouldn't mind playing it on the wii though because it's obviously compatible with the gun so I, I do love my wii gun games but then i've also seen um i've also seen it's uh i was just looking when it came out 2011 uh, it seemed like a bit more of a, a bigger set where it like comes with a proper gun or something So I don't know whether to just unseal it keep it play it or I might Maybe look for that bigger box version and possibly sell this on but like I say I don't know about the va value wise don't know it's up to you uh, Guys what you reckon if you want to drop a comment tell me what you reckon Like I say not an expert seal game. So anyway three games in total two guns and a holster and a pear tree. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Four quid for the sealed Wii gun. Four quid for the Scorpion 2 potential HMV exclusive. I may need to do uh, research. 
two quid a game, so 4, 8, 10, 12, 14. Should have been 14 quid. I said, will you take a tenner? He said, yeah. So that's not bad at all. Don't think that's bad at all, a little bundle. So grab them. Um, went to this other stall, picked up GTA 5, but... <laughs> it's a big but. I like big butts and I cannot lie. It's just got the install disc. It's just got that one disc. I opened it and obviously expressed my disappointment. I was like, oh. And then the guy, um, he knew. He knew exactly as well. Um, he said to me, he went, oh. I, I said to him, um, oh, where are you up? Fly the atomic blimp. Got a thing there. Can't remember if I ever used mine. I probably would have done. Um, but yeah, he said, uh, oh, I know. He only has the install. It doesn't have the disc to play. He was like, you can have it. I was like, oh, are you sure? He said, yeah, so um, ended up buying something else off his stall anyway, which I'll show you in just a sec. So got that for free, so it's not too bad. If I manage to find the play disc, a loose one, that's all I need to make that complete. Uh, could chance it at CX, I don't know. I think they'd be a bit too smart and they'd be used to trade copies of these. I think they'd be used to it and they'd know. Unless you catch them on, uh, you know, end of the shift, tired, you know, not concentrating. I know it's potluck, really, isn't it? <laughs> so I don't know, really. Um, could risk it for a chocolate biscuit, though. Anyway, from this guy's stall, I got this for just a pound. Not often I look in vinyls. I, I never would have dug through them, but this was at the front, so it just caught my eye. So it's a Disney vinyl. Walt Disney Productions. Mouser size. Never seen it. Um... It did come, includes illustrated mouse size poster. Unfortunately, the poster is not in there, so that's a bit gutting. Buy mouse size and get Mickey Mouse Disco free. So, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? Well, side one and side two. There was two vinyls in here. I haven't looked at them properly. Let me have a look. Mouse size side one, side two. Oh, okay. So this is double sided. There's another one in here. I wonder if that's the Mickey Mouse Disco one. Oh, it is as well. It is, guys. Nice. Yeah, that's side one and two as well. So Mickey Mouse Disco in there as well. That is sick. Like I say, just double check. I'm old and my eyesight's bad. Oh, God. Wow, that stinks of, like, the 90s or the 80s or whatever. Whew. You know that, like, dusty smell? Whew. Jeez. Um... But yeah, it just looks really cool. What, um, can't see the year. Where's the year? Where's the year? Can't really see it, to be honest. Uh, it says D Disneyland Records on the back, though, as well. Really nice, though. Really nice for a Disney collector. Like I said, I'm not a massive Disney collector, but I just, I just picked it up because, like, it's too nice to leave for a quid. It's too, you know, obscure and unusual. Um, had a look on eBay, I found a couple that have sold, but they're both international and they've sold for about 25 quid. I'll have to double check and see if they include that Mickey Disco one. Obviously, probably couldn't get the full value for it because it doesn't have the poster, which is a real shame, but might be able to sell that on for maybe 20, 25 quid. I'll keep an eye out and then um, just have another look anyway. Have another look and I'll make my mind up, see what I fancy doing anyway. Right, I got this for 50p. The PG Tips Christmas Monkey. Christmas one with the reindeer uh, Christmas sweater. And it says, Happy Christmas from PG Tips. I've sold one of these before. They usually fetch about eight quid on eBay. I've seen some of them, like, buy it now for a tenner. Um, I might chance it. I might put 9 99 or best offer, possibly. I might do. See if I can milk it and uh, make a bit of profit on it. So, yeah, I couldn't even be on 50p. Another 50p find. This was very nice. Another Disney thing as well. Um, like I say, I'm not even a massive Disney fan. Uh, but I just thought it was really cool and unusual. I thought it was really cool. So it's one of them. It's like a picture on one of them little thingies. It probably won't do it justice. It'll be a bit weird because of the light. That Yeah, it's really weird to show. There we go. Uh, you can obviously, obviously see Mickey and Minnie Mouse with... Um, Donald Duck dressed as a mummy, scaring them. I just thought it was a really cool picture, and they only wanted 50p. So I just didn't, like, want to leave it behind. So, sorry, it's, like, crazy and all over the place, guys, but I just thought, yeah, it was a really cool picture. So I just picked that up 50p. That's just for me to keep, really. Um, 
couldn't find it on eBay. I don't really know what to search, really. You can't just say it's Disney picture. It's not specific enough. Another, uh, probably eBay um, sell, sale, listing, whatever. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the storybook. Um, this was originally £3.99, as you can see here. I got it for just a pound. Uh, so, yeah, really nice condition. And, uh, yeah, it's the, it's the storybook. So I might have a, a read through. I might read through it. And then uh, sell it. It looks to sell about eight quid on eBay. So, yeah, not too bad. I can make about five on it probably. So, yeah, for a quid, it's just one of them. Sometimes I see things. I don't, you know, particularly want them. But I just, like, want them, though. Like, some things are just too nice to leave behind, to be honest. This one, this game, is a pound. Uh, I've already got it. GTA at Liberty City Stores. Complete. Um, oh, no map in it. I don't know if they even include the map. I'm sure they might have done. I can't remember these ones. Uh, but like I said, I always I already own it. Um, but James Collects, uh, I watch him on the YouTube as well. Great YouTuber, collector, eBay reseller. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a great channel. Um, he uh, bundles these up in fives, like as in all five PS2 titles. Like So GTA 3, Vice City San Andreas, Liberty City and Vice City Stories bundles them up buys them for 50 p's and quids and whatever bundles them up for 24.99 and they actually sell like that is brilliant so good going man so uh, i'm just hoping to follow in your footsteps really i'm sorry for copying uh put my hands up and say uh i'm just kind of uh jumping on that bandwagon <laughs> kind of thing and um, so yeah i'm just kind of taking my chance really so i'm just uh just look out for looking out for gta games and then bundle them up and see if i can try um sell them on for profit so yeah people are actually paying that for all of them so this was a really cool little find uh so rugrats you guys know i love rugrats even done a playthrough search for reptile check it out <laughs> so this is collector's edition um dvds of rugrats the movie and then rugrats in paris the movie i do already own rugrats the movie um just the the dvd on its own but I just really liked this because it was collector's edition. The one is one pound fifty. I said, "Will you take a pound?" I said, "Yeah." I know one fifty was cheap enough. I I don't know. Sometimes I'm just in a cheapskate mood. It's just it's just like instinct, really, and I just end up asking. Um, but yeah, not bad for a quid at all. So yeah, the full length hit movies. Really cool. They're all in there. Just show you. We'll grab some movie. That's great. You know what? I haven't seen Rugrats in Paris since I was a little kid. So, I'm sure there's a Rugrats in Paris, the game. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a PS1 and N64, I think. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd get it because it's just a nice little little collector's piece. Because it said collector's edition on, so obviously I have to have it. <laughs> right, and then the last one on the car boot... Is a uh, nice uh, 1989. It is Batman the game. Not bad. I'm a uh, I'm a Batman fan. Not a massive, massive fan, but I have wanted one. In all honesty, I've so I've seen one on the car boot once. I can't remember if they wanted something like four quid for it. I can't remember, and I wasn't sure whether it was complete. Uh, two quid. Not bad at all, and it's complete. The the lad was going through the cards and whatever he was showing me. Um, he said, "Oh yeah, yeah it's complete," and there is a list. Um, let me just quickly show you. There's a list of what should be there, how many cards should be there. It is just there. There we go. It says how many cards should be there, and they're all there. Uh, he had a quick um, look through, and then I just had a, a quick count through as well, just to verify, because, you know, I know it's just two quid and whatever, but they're no good to me if they're incomplete. I like them complete, because, like you say, if, if anything's incomplete, especially old board games, it's a long shot getting the spare pieces, really. It's only sometimes you get them on eBay, not all the time. The board is so cool. It's like proper retro and everything. Looks ace. I like how Joker looks as well. The old school Joker. So yeah, I don't know how the board game works, but it just looks really cool. So yeah, I got it. I'm happy to have it. I love my retro stuff. Um, God, I still need some of the Batman games. There, there is a game called Just Batman, isn't there? I think. I think it's on the, uh, I think it's on the Mega Drive, and it just looks like that. I'm sure it's that. There's a front cover just like that. 
Uh, I'll tell you what I would love, Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. They brought them all out on Blu-ray. I think they're still pretty priced, though. I'm sure there's about 40, 50 quid when I was last in HMV. But, yeah. Um, speaking of Blu-rays, uh, last lot of things to show you guys. God, it's been 40 minutes already. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, last lot, guys, anyway. So, my uncle is... Um, are, you, are you one of them Netflix gods or goddess, whatever? Because that's what I am. You know, you know when you, you pay for the Netflix, you keep it going. You keep everyone's lives together. You're the one who pays out monthly. Do you remember when I first signed up to Netflix? It was probably about $4.99 or $5.99. No, no, $5.99. It's now $7.99. I keep people's lives together. Seriously. People latch onto my Netflix account. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Use it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um... My uncle were massive geeks, massive uh, movie geeks. Tell you what, we recently went to see. Sorry, I've just got distracted by a bite on my leg. <laughs> um, tell you what, we went to see a couple of nights ago. Halloween, the nineteen seventy eight one, the original one on the big screen in the cinema. So good, absolutely amazing um, to see in the cinema. And um, so I, I recommend that if it's near a screen near you or whatever, because they're doing that with a few horror movies. So, yeah, we're massive geeks and whatever, and he, he messaged me was the other week. He was like, do you want anything, by the way, for Netflix? I was like, nah, don't worry about it. I was like, I use it. I pay seven ninety nine a month, but I use it as well. I have my wear out of it. And uh, I don't mind being the Netflix MVP. I'm the real MVP, and I know it. I, I know it. <laughs> so uh, he was like, no, are you sure? And I said, yeah, yeah, of course I'm sure. So he popped round the other day and he surprised me with a Blu-ray set. I was like, what you got me that for? I was like, thanks so much, but why? <laughs> and uh, he said, because you won't let me give you anything for Netflix. So, yeah, really nice and generous gift. So shout out to Chaz, my uncle Chaz. He's a massive geek, just like me. He got me the Saw Complete Collection. So Saw 1 to 6 and then the final chapter. Absolute legend. Thanks so much, Chaz. Because I, I recently borrowed the um, his box set, his um, DVD box set of this. So um, he knows how much I love the movies. So he got me these. And he knows that I already have Jigsaw on Blu-ray. So um, he got me these with just the Saw movies in. So thanks so much, Chaz. Absolutely awesome, man. Absolute legend. So I haven't actually got round to watching any of them yet. But it'll be amazing for a day off. I think I might have a marathon of them i reckon when i have a day off work soon i reckon it's got to be done so uh yeah awesome gift that i do i do love my blu-rays i would collect more um but obviously they're, they're a bit expensive they tend to see more and more on the car boots now anyway but um my main ones uh obviously video games and then it's just blu-rays secondary collection um but like I say, I collect um, horror films though. It's got to be horrors. Absolutely love my horror films. Oh my god, it's boiling. We're getting there. We're nearly there, guys. Something I've got to show you. I nearly forgot. It's because it's right in front of my TV with my Crash Bandicoot and Neo Cortex uh, pop figures. It's not long come out as well. And uh, there's a, a geeky shop called Gift Dude. Um, it's really cool. Really nice local shop. It's cool to have. Um, so they, they have like pops. Uh, just like geeky stuff basically. From Harry Potter to you know some Resident Evil bits. Dragon Ball Z. Anything. Stranger Things. Whatever. So this pop has not long come out. And uh, they, they only got a few in stock. And uh, saw it on the Facebook page. Next day, I was there, flew out to get it, because I knew it would sell out fast, and he said they were selling out fast. Um, I think he got, like, six or something in store. Um, so, yeah. Spyro! He looks so freaking cool. What I'll do, guys, I'll get the a picture up on screen, because it doesn't do it justice in all this freaking shadowy lighting, so I do apologise, but I, I did a really, like, posh, fancy lighting picture on my Instagram. So I will show you right now. So you can see, obviously... Um, like you say, this doesn't do it justice just showing you like this. But, yeah, the details, as as usual with pop figures, it's beautiful. And also with Spyro comes Sparks. The little, uh, what is it, butterfly, dragonfly? I don't know, dragonfly, I guess, because Spyro's a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you never think about what these creatures are until you have to think about it. Uh, but, yeah, it's nice one to include that as well. 
So uh, I, I do still have the box. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a collector and whatever. Keep the boxes, but I've got them like just stored away out the way because I, I want this for display. So yeah, got ready cue Spyro Pop. The pop figures are too addictive. I think uh, I will make a video at some point soon of uh, my Stranger Things pop collection. You can see them, well, they're right up there. Right, there we go. Up there, stacked up. And there's some stacked up down there as well. Um, oh God, it, it's an absolute mess. I apologise, guys. I, I, I just don't even know what to do anymore. Just making pickups and pickups. And I... Yeah, I, I just don't even know. But yeah, um... Where was I? Yeah, I will do a... I'll probably do a, a Stranger Things uh, collection so far. And also Resident Evil stuff, because I picked up some sick Resident Evil stuff too. And I feel like they des them like franchises, whatever, they deserve their own videos on my channel. So, uh, yeah. Right. A few more. A few more. Cheapo car boot ones, right? Crash Bandicoot. Mind over mutant. I'm in two minds whether to trade it in. I don't know. I'll have a little look at some gameplay online. I might have a little bash at it myself. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a classic Crash Bandicoot um, fan and collector. Don't know if this is going to be any good. I don't know. I think from... Since Wrath of Cortex, it just went downhill. Um, like you say, I'm an old school. I'm a, you know... Yeah, basically old school fan. So, new ones, I'm just like... Uh, it, uh, it's, it's worth like 13 quid in CEX, so it, it is really good trade fodder. So I'm just going to have a think at the minute because I don't know. going to have a think. Like I say, I'll look at some YouTube gameplay or I'll just find out myself, see how it plays. Next one. Tomb Raider Underworld. Um, I played that briefly on PS3. And I think I got lost or something. Um, <laughs> or something like that. Or I didn't know what to do. Um, nice and complete as well. And, uh, yeah, I, I just left it and I went on to other games. I was distracted by other games, I remember. Um, so, yeah, I'll go back to that. And uh, I am wanting to collect all the Tomb Raider titles anyway. Catch up on them. I wanted this for ages. Sega Superstars Tennis. I remember downloading the demo when I first got my PS3. first games I got with it were um, Motorstorm, um, Uncharted, the first one, and FIFA 08. 08. <laughs> yeah, back in 2008. And uh, I downloaded the demo for this and I absolutely loved it. I loved it back in the day. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to have that. Right, time for a bit of CEX. Can I help you, sir? <sighs> this is a sex shop, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I'll have five quid's worth then. <laughs> I'm laughing my head off because I know what um, I've got in my head what I want to show you guys and I've just shown it to you guys. <laughs> Absolutely freaking love Bottom. Absolute classic. It generally has me in tears. I think only Bottom and probably Faulty Towers are the only things that can genuinely make me proper laugh, really. Uh, but yeah, everything else just gets my average kind of laugh, but them genuinely make me laugh. Uh, so yeah. So this one... Hull CEX, there's a lad on the game groups, and uh, no, I've got, I've got nothing bad against him whatsoever. I'm like it as well, I won't complete in box, and um, yeah, basically, uh, you know, he's a big collection, whatever, and obviously there's other people in Hull, um, not just aiming this at, as a bullying speech, whatever, whatsoever, uh, but yeah, uh, if you go in Hull CEX, you can literally just guarantee... Hull is basically my second choice, really. Because it's uh, not very far away. Go there when I nip to Hull, whatever. Um, but yeah, you guarantee, like, Mega Drive, um, Sega Saturn ones especially, them two mainly, they will not have the manuals in because obviously collectors will have um, ordered them online, seen that they're not complete, chuck them back in. So when I go in with my credit, like, oh, they've got this in stock, they've got this. Look at Maximum Carnage, it's gone. Look at Demolition Man, it's gone. Look at Marvel vs. Capcom, it's gone. No manuals, no manuals at all. Yeah, so, uh, but this one, 
actually managed to find it with the manual. Um, you know what? It's a Sega Saturn game. Didn't think they'd have it in stock because I saw it online. Was not in the back whatsoever. It wasn't behind the counter, like behind the um, you know cabinets, whatever, in the boxes with the retro games. There was like, oh, we'll have to proper have a look for it. And they went round the back and whatever, you know. Climbed in the wardrobe, went to Narnia, went down the yellow brick road, whatever, you know, all that lot. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, they uh, come back with it. And I thought, I bet after all this, they, they either won't have found it or it won't have the manual. I literally did not feel optimistic whatsoever. Uh, but it had the manual, boxed and complete. That is a result from Hull CEX. That is a result, guys. We have Story of Thor 2. Obviously, this was bought with credit. Um, all my CX purchases are with credit anyway. Um, little bit warm. It is a little bit bruised and battered. It's got a thing across there as well, which is a shame. Like I say, bit battered. It needs TLC, but I can cope with it. I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. Um, any ripples? Uh, slightly, slightly. Can't fully show, but nah. Not like severe ripples or anything. The discs never like to stay in, do they? They really don't. But yeah, lovely and complete. Really happy. That was a result because it never happens at Hull CEX, ever. <laughs> so yeah, I was really happy with that. Uh, it looks to be a nice little game, to be fair. Nice uh, little RPG. So I will get stuck into that uh, when uh, life isn't so busy. <laughs> couple of other games. These were from uh, my local CEX uh, with some credit. Minty Condition as well. And they said, um, yeah, the, the lad showed me, you know, uh, he's one of the, the regulars in there. He said, um, oh, you know, when these were traded in, they're all minted, all from the same person. So beautiful. These, these were, um, I think, both 22 quid, I think. Mario Party 4. There we go, focused in. It is that cool? It, it took that long to focus on it. <laughs> so we've got Mario Party 4. Absolutely sick. Really nice. Really nice and minty. It's beautiful. There's a, just no marks on the disc whatsoever. So I've got that. And then, God, this is long awaited. I've wanted this for ages. And most GameCube owners and whatever already have it. Finally got it. Mario Kart Double Dash. Like I say, I've never really come across them in the wild, GameCube games. Ne never see them at car boots anyway. You literally don't. Not mine anyway. Um, but yeah, finally got that. I was really happy. So it'll be really nice to try that out because I haven't uh, played that one before. Uh, I admit I've not played it before. But yeah, uh, Mario Party games. I need to get the first two on N64. I've got Mario Party 3, thank God. That's like the most expensive. Um, I got it fairly early-ish in my collecting days, a year and a half ago, about that, um, on eBay with some uh, eBay selling profits, about 70 quid it was, Mario Party 3 on the N64, it's the most expensive on the N64, so obviously I've got Mario Party 4, I need 5, 6 and 7, and I believe, um, I don't know, I can't remember which ones it is, a couple of them, I think they come in a box with microphones or something, don't they, so I need to get those, I've got 8 and 9 as well, got them on the uh, Wii um I think there's probably one for the Wii U don't have any Wii U stuff whatsoever because I never got one might invest in the future and there is just a, there is a Super Mario Party game brought out on the Switch I don't know if it's any good though and uh, I think there is one on the uh the 3DS as well but yeah like I say nice little stepping stone in the Mario Party collection and obviously amazing to have Double Dash and to finally get a, another Saturn game uh, for the collection, so I can tick that off my uh, Saturn uh, collection list. I am going for a full set. It's going to take ages, though, <laughs> by the time I retire or something. <laughs> but, yeah, some sick pickups, guys. It's been amazing to show you all these. Um, like I say, mix from CEX, uh, you know, car boot, um, my car boot mates, car boot Dan, car boot um, Jamie, car boot Dave, shout out to my mates. <laughs> Um, yeah, and some uh, swaps and sales pickups. So um, what I will do at the end of this video, I would like to do this uh, on um, 
on some you know future videos um if i see some funny youtube videos whatever and i think you should check them out I, i'd just like to recommend them really because uh, i just i just saw something funny and i was like i should really mention that on the channel and tell you to check it out so i'll i'll get a picture on screen right now like a little screenshot of it whatever uh i'm, I'm looking at my phone to remind me of these <laughs> my memory is terrible so my drunk friend sent this to me at 401 a.m so it's basically a guy playing Crash Bandicoot just for a few minutes. The very first level, Insanity Beach, on Crash 1. Um, and yeah, he's just he's just talking absolute gibberish and doing sound effects. I just found it funny, so I just want to recommend that video. Um, also, uh, I think this is really cool. Speaking of zombies, uh, if you are a Call of Duty Zombies fan, Mr. Dalit JD is a brilliant uh, Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber and... He actually visited uh, Alcatraz, uh, is it called Alcatraz Prison, I think, or something like that, uh, in San Francisco. I would love to go there. Um, I've been to San Fran briefly for a football match um, when I played football in the States, but didn't get to tour around. Um, so th this prison, uh, you can go for a tour around there. So Mob of the Dead in real life, because uh, obviously that's where Mob of the Dead, the uh, Call of Duty Zombies map set. So that's really cool as well i just like enjoyed watching it so yeah if i see any cool videos guys i'd, I'd just like to mention them in the comments and whatever so yeah um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed all the pickups it's been awesome to show you guys and i will see you guys very soon and if you want to drop any comments to tell me what you like the best and what you've been collecting i love to hear what you've been collecting as well guys so wish you all the best with your collections as always and take it easy youtube and i'll see you in a bit see you in a bit guys